Hi everyone, Ted Fitch here with Qdabra Software and today I want to show you a neat trick that you can use with our Active Directory web service to find out uh, what the fields are in your Active Directory that you can use uh, in your InfoPath forms. So as you may know, um, our Active Directory web service allows you to uh, pre-populate information in your form. Uh, for example, you could populate employee name, department, email address, title, ID number, all of this um, if it's in your Active Directory and you can use our web service to do that. Uh, a common question that comes up is, well, how do I know what's, in, what's available in the web service um, to use in my form? And so there's a neat little trick we can do here uh, by adding a data connection from the ribbon here uh, to the Active Directory web service and to the web method that we want to find out what fields are there. So I'm going to just add a SOAP web service, click Next, put in the URL of the web service. I, in this case, I want to uh, find out what's in Get My Info web method. Uh, just go ahead and walk through the dialogues here. And I've now added the data connection. Uh, and if you go over here to the task pane, uh, you can see the secondary data connection is here. And here is um, the AD properties. These are all that right here is uh, the fields. It's a repeating section. And um, all the fields that Active Directory Web Service uh, can get will be shown here. Now, if I want to see what those fields are, all I need to do is go into Page Design. And I'm just going to add a new view. We'll just call this AD properties. This is just for me. Users aren't going to see this because um, it's a hidden view. But all I need to do is just drag the repeating section from uh, the task pane and drop it on the canvas, make it a repeating table. And we can see key and value. And I just click on preview. And we will now see, here we go. This is the full list. So these are all the key values here that I filter on in my Active Directory uh, when I use it in my InfoPath form. And this is the value, so you can quickly see that if I want to get the full name of the user, I need to grab their CN, presumably short for contact name. If I want to just get the last name, I get the surname, SN. C stands for country. Uh, so if we wanted to do a quick test, we can just go back to the main view, and I can click on name, go to the text box, and you notice here I already have in here um, a default, which is value where key equals CN. And what I have done here, I'll just go ahead and delete this and show you one more time. I'm going to insert a field or group, and I'm going to get the information from Active Directory, and I want to choose the value, and I want to filter the value where the key is equal to, I'm going to type in text of CN for contact name. So all the value column from that view that I created. And so now if I click on preview, we should see, there we go. And also my email address is there too because I've already pre-populated that. But that is a quick and easy way um, to see everything that Active Directory provides for you, the Active Directory web service provides for you. So uh, good luck and have fun. Thanks.